Monetary relief is on the way to help the food industry keep restaurant doors open throughout Mississippi. Twin States News' Marie Forrest has more. The Small Business Administration is reminding restaurants within the community that the registration for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund starts today. As part of the American Rescue Plan Act, the goal of the program is to provide funding to help restaurants and other eligible businesses keep their doors open. SBA Mississippi District Director Janita Stewart says financial assistance is just a click away. She explains. I'm happy to share that on Friday, April the 30th, the registration for this grant program will be open at 8 a.m. our time. And then right on the heels of that, the grant application portal will go live on Monday, May 3rd at 11 o'clock a.m. our time. So, you know, we're now in the process to really help restaurants, you know, food trucks, food carts, caterers, bakeries, bars, wineries, and more, you know, many more businesses that really fall into that, that industry here in Mississippi and throughout the country uh, because they've really been devastated by the pandemic. And so they really need a lifeline to get back on their feet. And uh, so help is here, and it's basically because of the RRF and the Biden and Harris administration in cooperation with Congress, you know, providing this massive amount of funding to help this, this industry that really needs it. Stewart goes on to advise that eligible businesses may receive funding equal to their pandemic-related economic revenue loss per location with a maximum of up to $10 million per business and a minimum of $1,000. Per the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, recipients are not required to repay the funding as long as the funds are used for eligible reasons by March 11th of 2023. The director says funds from the RRF grant does not require repayment. And businesses that have received a Paycheck Protection Program, better known as a PPP loan, may still be eligible for the grant. Those that have received PPP loans that amount will be deducted from the eligible grant amount, but you know, a case, you know, of course, on a case by case basis. So it doesn't disqualify you if you're a restaurant and you received a PPP loan, and hopefully you, you know, your PPP loan was forgiven. So it doesn't disqualify you. Uh, you should also still apply. Don't disqualify yourself. But if you did receive a PPP loan, and you know, you are also eligible for the RRF grant the PPP amount will be deducted from the total grant eligibility that you would have. Stewart says that funding for the grant will be given on a first-come, first-served basis with priority to women, veteran, and economically disadvantaged-owned businesses. She also says that a one-hour training will be offered through the SBA website. For more information on the RRF grant, please visit our website for a link. With Twin States News, I'm Marie Forrest.